Hello, we're back at it again with more Honkai Star Rail. Very early stream today. Mainly because... <sighs> I want to dog some dragons tonight, so we're going to try and finish this patch. <laughs> For this session... <sighs> just going to skip going to the gym today and just... Uh, get started. So, without further ado... Let's see, where are we? Well, early start, yeah. Uh, I want to finish this patch b before, uh, so I can dog some dragons tonight. Also, to be to avoid spoilers, I want to finish this as soon as possible. This patch, because uh, I've already ran into a bunch of spoilers on Twitter today. I should have just completely avoided Don't Twitter. To let your friends in on the action. Fuck, man! You know how it is. So yeah, an early start. How you doing? Hey. Look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Enemies drop gold coins even in a dream. <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. In the middle of a work meeting, <laughs> you jump into mine. <laughs> when you get off, you're still at work now? Brother, it's past four. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, oh. is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You're a nine-to-fiver? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Oh, what was that? Collect ingredients for the drinks. Okay. Probably just these. Uh, check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. And the label reads... Dream syrup. Thick. I don't see an expiration date. But the production date is... Emphasis on the thick. Half an amber era ago. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. Maybe it hasn't expired yet. Maybe they thought we could drink anything in dreams, yeah. Uh, that's true. But this really doesn't seem fresh. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years, and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. Oh man, it's... Speaking of spoilers, it's gonna be rough when Dawn Trail comes out. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Oh shit, speaking of, way. speaking of Dawn Trail, need to catch up on the uh, post-patch of uh, uh -huh. Endwalker. What's all the commotion about? Who dis? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss That's Amazon? soon. The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. What data center am I in? I don't even remember. <laughs> your I don't even remember. We might have be in the same data. I need to... I I don't even remember, actually. I simply log in. It has it has been that long for me since I last logged in. Oh, God bless. Hello, Absol. You yeah, caught me. One sec. How you doing tonight? Oh, you did the whole story last night already. Okay. Yeah, I, I only got through the half of it uh, last night. And uh, yeah, I only got through half of it. Um, I was hoping I could finish right after as soon as I finished work so I could avoid spoilers because I've already ran into a bunch of them 
in uh, on Twitter today. So uh, just on the TL, just out there, raw on the TL, kind of, kind of fucky, but yeah, that's why I'm like trying to rush this so I could finish it as soon as possible, just to keep whatever le uh, whatever excitement that I got left for the patch. It's been a really good patch though, man. That that uh, that. That scene with uh, with uh, Aventurine and Sunday and Ratio, man, kept me on edge. Already, goddamn, thank God I got through that. I got through this early then, though not like I've been using Twitter as much lately. Oh, I see. Yeah, I should have just completely avoided uh, social media today, but me, me poisoned, me brain poisoned. I need to see social media or else i will not live through the day through the day but you have the talent you'll attract a huge audience you're destined for the iris stage not for this rundown shack the showbound look like a playable come with me will become the talk of Penacony is shining light into every corner of the dreamscape Please, Siobhan, I really Siobhan. need you. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. What talent? What does she do? Get just one moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? How come any how come even you, Himeko? Time is running out. We need to hurry. Yeah. True that. I'm counting on you. Anyways, how have you been, how have you been lately? You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Ha <laughs> I've been doing you've been doing okay for the most part as good as i can be really i see good to hear at least good to hear good to hear we surviving speaking of survive this place reminds me of survive bar in a uh, yakuza siobhan just said anything can be imbibed perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients oh is this like Valhalla moment? The game? Oh, never mind. Let's make her. Oh, she's calm right now. Let's make her sad. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross. Yet, I'm still holding on to her. I did the same thing for the first one. <laughs> Let's make her sad. Make her sad enough that she'll just walk out of here on, on her own. I'm too timid and shy. Longing to shine but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance. Because I'll never be able to do anything alone you don't know siobhan's past and you have no clue how radiant she used to be even among the talented iris family her skill was unmatched what does she do oh she probably thinks i'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead but all I want is for her to reclaim her place. 
You feel an inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. The next moment, that emotion turns into liquid filling your goblet. My gobby. She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. Make her angry so we can beat her up. I just, just kidding. Don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. He seems like a friend. Important friend of Siobhan, so we will not be fighting her. Let's make her happy. Oh man, she's going through it. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I A roller coaster of emotions. The crowd is going wild. Applause crashing like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times. Literally, what are you talking about? What did she do? Let me just... Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. Ooh, that noise. She's still not leaving. Damn it, okay. Fine, I'll make her angry. Get... Wait, we can make her calm again? She's going through the full range. Iris jerks! Uh, they're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here. Bringing this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Well... Talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. <laughs> swirling, oh. making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Pride? Here's the payment. Pride the flag payments. question mark? Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Amaki has left? <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. So, go ahead. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Uh... What the? I'm missing? Dream syrup. <laughs> you won't find a sweeter drink anywhere in Pentacony. And that's what today's dream seekers crave. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Uh, what's this? Do it matter? This is the most pungent adjunct we have. And my personal favorite. Oh. Before Mikhail left, the wrinkles at the corners of his eyes had deepened like knife cuts. He mumbled. His breath too weak to climb up his throat. 
caught up in his chest. But I could smell it. The lingering scent of Penacony itself on that night. Mikhail. Misha? Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. We're already on the case here. Mikhail. Is Mikhail and Misha the same? I forget. Uh, Coin-shaped lemon slices. The IPC's favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Well, it's done. Oh. Here's to you, sober one, with this glass of a dream within a dream. That looks cool. Was this customized? How many variations are there? To our forebears who dug their own grave. It's purple. <laughs> My color. Well done, Gallagher. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and Got sour the one that was green with the star with straw? Hint of sweetness. That's kind of cool that it's customized. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. Misha was the bellboy. Mikhail is the f name that Firefly yelled in the one cutscene before the Pentaconi event started. Ah, uh, story even started. I don't remember that. When was that? The weird flashback thing on the train. At least I think it was Firefly. Oh, I see. You think it was Fire? Oh, okay. I remember that one scene. Was it Firefly? Or was it Black Swan? Or wait, no, not Black Swan. I'm gonna have to run it back on like my first stream for 2.0 because I do remember that scene. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. It was when we uh, first like jumped into the memory where we first encountered Acheron, right? That scene? When we, when we were just about to jump to Pentacony? Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? I heard this name in my dream. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you oh, yeah, 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 never mind. Out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? Oh, okay, never mind. It was then. Um, when, uh... When Sparkle knocked us out, is that? That might have been it. When uh, Sparkle knocked both Stella and Firefly out, I think. That might have been when. <sighs> luckily, luckily I screamed the patches so I could easily run it back and see what when stuff happened. <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right, let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. Honestly, it's all jumbled, jumbled in my memory at this point. I remember the what, but not the order or, or what, or where or the order of when they happened. Yeah. Acheron moment? Acheron and Black Swan moment? Black Swan is interfering with our memories, IRL. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. 
as if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh? Does that mean? So uh, that silver wolf, that's oomph. Maybe things will turn out different than what we think. Different? Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on, aren't you a witness in this case? What is it? It's like everybody forgot. Like uh, the silver out, uh, the silver wolf reached out to them. She can do all of that. Let me be frank. This case actually is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before, so death does happen in Penacony, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony. And thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hmm. For some reason, I have completely attributed that question, that prose. Why does life slumber to uh, Firefly entirely? Just because of that one cutscene over in the... Over at the, uh, that one location. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time. Oh. But the hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world? Inviting you here and causing chaos? So, you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacony, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Damn. What does this have to do with Mikhail? You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Well, yeah, I've kind of, we've kind of long deduced that part. Sometime later. Here we are. Clock Studios theme. Oh, new area? Most popular entertainment center in Penacony. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacony used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. 
The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Oh. So the, cur the character Hanu is based on a... Re so that clocky cartoon is actually a documentary. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. New area. They just received a lockdown order. Supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. I love this, uh, I love this little track. The music playing in the background, it's so ominous. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Ah, uh, okay, no wonder. No wonder we're all here. That explains Sparkle being here. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. The Pentagoni music in general is super good. I can't wait to hear you how you react to the music for this update's boss fight. Oh, I can't wait. I really loved um the Sam's Sam's boss music. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? That's rude to ask. I'm 13. What? No way! Not even close! <laughs> Hanunu freed the frontier prison, <laughs> but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Osdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. I see, I see. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... He's a double agent. No, I'm not his companion but rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. 
Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else, while they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer. Supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners. And my past. As for Mikhail... There's so much drama in Pentacone, holy. I heard he died in obscurity. In a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? So much intrigue, so much twists. Definitely a step up from Sianjo. Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Is the Watchmaker an organization? Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. If I get How you ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? He trauma dumps Alistair to us and then leaves. Does have a troubled past, it seems. <laughs> he really trauma dumps to us and then leaves. <laughs> Can you trauma dump in the general chat? While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery. His stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And that the family isn't you. Homie is banned in 12 VTuber chats. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Hmm. This is just like the Yakuza. That lines up with what we've Hey, what did I say here? Death is related to the Watchmaker, yep. Far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. He's real to me. He's my oomph. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. 
It's a shame we've never met him since then. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. He's spending precious time with Raiden May. Mr. Yang, our investigation here has come to an end. How's progress going on on your end? Well, it says, not too bad, the Galaxy Ranger, and I agree that the family might be hiding something important. We're now headed to the Dewlight Pavilion. March says, uh, Acheron, huh? Didn't Adventuring say he, she was, uh, dangerous? Well, it says, I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry, please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. She's oomph. I trust her. I rolled for her. Ooh, Acheron Path. Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. Oh, okay, I see. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Are they gonna make us play as... Ha, ah, but I already have Acheron in my party. Wait, so is it... Which Acheron is it? Is it my Acheron or their Acheron? Oh, there's a story Acheron. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I have my Acheron already, so... Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Acheron draws her blade slightly. Within a moment, her breath became imperceptible. <sighs> Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Concealment technique? Ho. Oh. Yep, we know that already. I've put it to good use in simulated universe. Man, but we want to flex our Acheron, though. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Ho, 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 ho. God, her damage is ridiculous. Another blood debt repaid. The model in the sand pit. Yeah, this is where... Isn't it? Maybe the heads of the family used that model for discussing important matters. Yeah, the Dulite Pavilion is where our ratio and uh, Aventurian was. And the footprints here are different from the rest. There are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. Let's use it anyways. Get out of here! Get out of here! Yeah, that's a very easy way to farm, uh, farm these overworld monster map, um, mats. Because I haven't farmed Penacone, uh, enough, I feel like, for uh, upgrading Penacone characters. 
While there oh. aren't any people in this mansion, I've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Just did it. Huh. Ill tidings manifest. I weep. Open up. It too shall fall. Time to say bye. Boom. Converge and awaken. Human creations. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. It doesn't really matter how hard I try. I didn't even think about using her for that, to be honest. Yeah, you want to flex your Akron as much as possible, right? Wait, this is Sunday's room. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Oh, oh, letter from Robin. Holy shit, that's long. <laughs> Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Duolite Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrained, I refrained from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Pentacone, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my, wo my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, uh, using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacone is not pure. I see. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to, latter, to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Pinnacone, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our premise promise with the charmony festival on the horizon i fear this person intends to impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior, ulterior motive at any rate i suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety you're the only true family member i have left there is another matter that requires our attention during my investigation i learned about the memory zone meme death and my Further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and I am prepared to, prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Given your heavy workload, uh, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality where you're free. When you're free, I mean. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Giant Moa. Giant Moa? Giant Moa. Pudding tarts from Marillions. Wild strawberries from Makonyako. Known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy. And Almond Meringue. Forgot how to pronounce that. Cream Crackles from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May CP will be with us. Your sister, Robin. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Pentacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. 
And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the Harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Oh, two more. Please, no long letters. Oh, you fuck me. Oh, list of deaths victims. Okay. List of deaths victims. Ansaral, a male Holovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of Oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. This was the first. <coughs> this was the first case. Cancel of anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Uh, the second case is Mori, a male from Sianjo, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examinations showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. Seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigations methods feasible? This is what the note says. The third death is Amaka, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of scorched sand, but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. This footage for that episode of the show has been deleted. The note says the culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advice. The What's this? The fourth? I don't know how to count anymore. Uh, fourth, Weber, a male Pepeshi, uh, fell down when entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses has been processed. The note says, preferring, preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals? Uncertain. Maybe taking orders from someone else. Chemet, a male of uh, the fifth, I guess. Um... Victim is Chemet, a male Pepeshi. Pepeshi, I don't know how to pronounce that. Was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. The note says flipping a card. Interesting. The sixth. Holy fuck, there's so many victims. I'll just read through this. Save my voice. Who just at me? I did not realize that there's been this many, uh, victims. Okay. information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Oh, 
Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. A lot of reading, a lot of reading. This is probably a hella. Okay, never mind. It's a light cone. It's securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother. Aww. Just kids. Cute. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Aw, oh, they were so cute. Why is Sunday so evil now? Well, I mean, he did just lose his sister. Ah, more reading! A letter from Malfalfa? You're now the head of the yolk. Oh. Wait, this is important. Read, Trailblazer, read! Read! <laughs> Stell's tied to the bed. This is not even Stell. This is, uh... This is Acheron and Welp. Wait. Sunday is the leader of the Yolk fam, head of the Yolk family. Gallagher said that the traitor is in the Yolk family. Acheron tied to bed by Black Swan. <laughs> you just want to see it. He would like to see it. I see. It's all coming together now. So the watchmaker and the family are enemies. But the family cannot afford to make it known that they are enemies because that would invite the dissolution of Pentacony to IPC. Wait, so what's the what's the motive for the watchmaker? The watchmaker wants to be found. That's okay, maybe. More information will be revealed as we read on. Yeah, so the family can't really deny the invitations that the watchmakers made to different type of groups of people because they don't want to they don't want to make it known that the, them and the watchmaker are in dire straits. They got to put up a united front Do not let a Venturine find this note. The 
It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Is this gonna be another long ass note? I it looks it looks like a stack. Oh, oh, read. Oh no, it's just more. A list of suspects. Oh, you hate me. Stop making me read! Perhaps there's a common thread among them I have reached a conclusion. Read for us, brother, so do we have so we don't have to. I don't want to. I'm gonna lose my voice. I've been streaming every day for the past like how many days? <laughs> for the past month. Yeah, I, I can actually feel my throat like going through it. Like Robin. Suffer for our sin. Suffer for your benefit. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Yeah, I went through like, I just glossed over the list. None of them looks familiar. Huh? Wait, these characteristics what is it no nothing maybe i'm just overthinking things however if wait what Sunday... characteristics can i look oh i can look oh this is such a good feature acronic so what stop it stop it <laughs> El walt is an old man he has a wife that he left back at home. <laughs> What's with the heart emoji? Acheron has a wife and Welt has a wife. Welt is 82 years old? He looks great though. Married man is even better. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh you. What are the characteristics? Oh. I see. Wait, I kind of see it. I also kind of don't see it. Let's see how this plays out. It really exists. Could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. 
Hide quick. I don't think trespassing oh. in forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. I hate you. And Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Oh, well, play cool. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. Deception. <laughs> I'm sorry, there was no one to greet us. 20. <laughs> On the contrary, 20 roll. that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Walt doesn't need, Walt doesn't need a skill check for this. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Wait, actually, that th there was a there was a role there. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. She whispered so... <laughs> she whispered so loudly, how did he not hear that? Well... Other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He thinks he shackled the Venturine, but Venturine's got something figured out probably. Always bet on Venturine. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. What is he cooking? <laughs> Literally. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. What? Aventurine time! We love Aventurine. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a... Oh god, it starts with a flashback. Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avjin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Say what? A fraud case, okay. Whoa! Is that Diamond? Hey, whoa. She kind of bad, though. Wah, mama! <laughs> Is that Diamond? I emoji, I emoji, I emoji. Let me, let me just get a screenshot here. I kneel. <laughs> Mama. Babu, babu. Mm. 
What pretty Oh, eyes. Jade. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. Oh, damn. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Huh? Pity your luck has run out. On his home planet? An Eon? Wait, was... What's... Isn't that... One of the Eon? Let me look this up. Yeah, it is. The Eon of Propagation. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end. I was paying the perpetrator. I was paying attention to I was paying attention to the, to the uh, simulated universe lore. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about though is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? <laughs> Never stop gambling. My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. Lenora, the chief. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. One sec. Eventually, my type of guy to say all oh, my mama and mean it. He really does. <laughs> With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas, he'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Oh no, evil capitalism, beautiful evil capitalism woman. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity, and then... <laughs> Use them well, child. We love beautiful capitalism, evil women. May your plans never suffer failure. 
as a topaz stan life is like a long-term investment those who choose correctly do the correct things reach the correct outcomes and show the world their value people can't always make the right choices in their lives but luck has always been on my side i've never lost <laughs> Nah, I'd win. Anger emoji. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. Nah, I'd win, died, bro. <laughs> We're gonna get that Jade correction one of these days. Jade correction. Get corrected. But what then? We can fix her. Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure never to return? I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas, lowly gambler. Huh? <laughs> what? 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 Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Is that the harmony? Crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. <laughs> the harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone. I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? He's gonna change. <laughs> what exactly are you? He's gonna change. He's planning to change the trajectory of everybody's lives in Pentacone. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Oh, why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. A child? I thought minors weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? Are Pepeshis kind of like Harvins? Kind of like Lala Fells? Uh, uh, what's wrong, mister? Whoa. You don't look well. Oh shit, that's me. Your eyes. 
impossible. Baby Venturine. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Venturine Umfi mode. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. Where are you going? Get back here. No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Aftons left. Stream four. The gleam of old plates. Papa, Mama, wait for me. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> You're only on Panacotti, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panicone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone come across for help like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert damn because you know that opportunities are fleeting no wonder he was so eager to become a friend oh when you put it like that even ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant well you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope so listen while you can it's good timing that you mentioned the doctor I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracy... Calculations... Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? Oh, All planned! All calculated! Massive inferiority complex. You've won so much, and you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself, too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, and was that not what you most wanted? But hmm? you chose the IPC instead. You could have been a masked fool? For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. He keeps doing it. Then now nah, I'd win. Despite all odds. Hide and seek. I'm really 
really good at this. Despite literally everybody in Pen Penacone hating his ass. Yeah, this update has made me really like adventuring. The Avans, the Afghans got massacred by the Catacans. Come on, it's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Well, your social capital has changed, after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the. Last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. Aventurine has so many, like. That child. Could he be in here? Lines in this patch? He's turning out to be, like, some of the most. colorful characters in Ponycony. Next to Firefly and Acheron. Well, they are the main. They are the main characters for Ponycony. <laughs> Actually, everybody in Penacony. Stream forth the gleam of old. Trees. What's this? Win the hide and seek. Is this? That's Topaz. A topaz. What is this doing here? <sighs> Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart, though? <sighs> I was merely curious at why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that doctor's acting was perfect. Ah, it was all planned. Ratio's a noom. I don't hate Ratio anymore. Or... Maybe he wasn't acting at all. Never mind. Cope? No venturing. Ratio cares. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. That switch up was so fast. <laughs> was it you mean like the uh ratio? Ratio switch up on Aventurine on that uh one cutscene with uh Aventurine? Man, that had me at the edge of my seat. That whole interaction. Man, it was so good. Which is why you had ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. Then 
intel you gave to Ratio was all true. You spoke of the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found me the cornerstone, and before you know it... Oh, me going and changing my tune on him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like last night, I hate Ratio, I hate you! And it was, now it's like, all planned, all planned. <laughs> Which is funny, because I actually appreciated um, Ratio, her first interaction with him back in, uh, back at the space station. Like, people found him mean, but I was like, I get him. I defended him, and I was like, I, de I even defended him. Like, people hated, people hated Ratio. I was like, no, I get him. And then I switched up again after uh, what happened with Aventure, and I was like, I hate him. After his betrayal, and then now I like him again. <laughs> it was all planned. Everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. There was a third stone? <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? Man, I kind of want to roll for Aventurine, but he's preservation. I don't really... You don't really ever need preservation once you have, like, Fushan. And once you have a really good healer. My bio is Z6. I don't really need anybody else. Well, they do kind of want... I do kind of want... Wahua. Just as an enabler for uh, my Nihility characters. But you don't ever really need like a preservation character. Which kind of sucks. They generally kind of suck. It's just Fushan who's just like at the top because she gives... So much utility in a fight. Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for Aventurine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Wait, why does it have Jade? What happened to Jade? Aventurine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic healthy, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more unique. Oh, Jade is an oomph, okay. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. That's crazy. Those cornerstones they did mention before, they value more than their own lives. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Oof. You smashed the Aventurine stone before you left. Just look at it. Shattered. 
just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This <laughs> thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Klipoth's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Every step you take involves reckless risks, and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction. Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. Ah, <laughs> he said the thing. <laughs> I'd win. Never stop gambling. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Oh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. What? Why is there a guy just being chilling there? Stream four. Gleam of old. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. I'm <laughs> sure. Hamster ball night fast and fury nuts. <laughs> what the hell? What the? Wait, what? Click the flip, flip button to change dodge the obstacles and opponents. If you dodge right before you're about to crash into a roadblock, you will trigger turbo dash and experience a short period of invulnerability. Energy can be accumulated by triggering adventuring head. <laughs> Energy can be accumulated by triggering Turbo Dash and picking up supplies. When energy is full, you will answer Nutty Blitz and experience a long period of invulnerability. Oh dear god. Not Nutty Blitz? I will not say anything inappropriate. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, space. Can you go fast? Oh, wait! Okay, you're supposed to pick that up. Cute. Am I gonna make it? I'm only missing one more. I'm only missing one more nut. Please let there be a nut. Oh, thank god. Dun 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 How's that? Not a bad score, eh? 
disappeared already. <laughs> also this, we can keep doing it. I see. Mini games. They're probably gonna put out an. They're probably gonna put out an event featuring that. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes, and I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out. Some is it to sick some hungry. No, I gotta finish the patch. What the fuck? Invisible wall? Wait, what? Whoa, this place, it's so over here. Tall, even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. <sighs> ah, quick way back. Oh god! Like a rat in a maze. A rat in a maze. <laughs> it, is this? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 68 tonne. Oh. Damn, he killed all the other slaves. person takes such daring risks. Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. Could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breathing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. You mean, it could make all the cards on the table? 
table just disappeared. <sighs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Wait, I'm lost? That path opened up. <sighs> What's this? Mm, your expression right now is hard to put into words. The lucky charm on the left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Mama. Calls her mama. Uh, he really is a mama's boy. But you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are not! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that from start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Don't tell me. Is it? Death. Death. I knew it. But whose exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. He really is. All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. He really is planning to change the trajectory of everybody's lives in Pentagoni. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? <sighs> So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? <sighs> finally, made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. What the hell? Why? Why is there so many? Whoop. Why is there so many? I looked this up. I need to get over there.
Why is there so many? You activate that. Which way should I rotate? How many more energy do I have? Oh, there it is. Yep. Oh, maybe the other um the other way is uh leads to our treasure chest maybe. I'm thinking. It's so fun here. A different treasure chest. Hanu is trapped now. Pew. Looks like they put a lot of resources in uh, making these Hanu puzzles. So they want to use it as much as possible. Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. <laughs> ah, it really is you. One second, kid. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. A treasure chest. Just wanted to secure that. Did we go all the way back? Oh wait, no. This is a different place. I don't know why, mister. But you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they? Ghost of adventuring past and adventuring future. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. <laughs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. 
Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains in spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Damn. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple. That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death, and its curtains will fall on another death. Oh, so that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically a Possible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before. Why you? Why must it be you? Do you win because you're adventuring or is it because you're adventuring that you win? Oh! Lobotomy Kaizen. Wait, I can make a funny post. One sec. <laughs> no, it's just a little bit of lobotomy kaizen joke. A 
maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. photo for me. I want a momentum. Sure. Come on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> cute. I wanted to join. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, shit. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. No shit. <laughs> I'm sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a merchant, but I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. <laughs> Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome. I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better. And stronger than me. He's planning to die here. God, adventuring is so good. I'm sorry for initially doubting him at the very start of Pendaconi. It also helps having like a thousand lines for this patch. <laughs> it's just a venturing Wafflin for like an entire chapter. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. Dude's voice sounds like he's trying to raise the wind. <laughs> it's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. I'm so glad the entire story for this update was voiced, yeah. He got such a good voice actress. Like, English voice actress has really good direction. Thank you. And what makes it even more better is that the characters, the voice actors are so invested in their characters and like, it's so fun to see. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. I love watching the streams from the Honkai Star Rail voice actors because of it, yeah. I haven't jumped in, in, into any of them. I've like only seen the clips, but they're 
they're having so much fun with this. Uh, they have so much passion for this game. I'm not a dub side kind of. I'm not a dub kind of guy, but they sound so good from what I've seen. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> of course they know. Like uh, I watched Analysa Fisher's uh, signing for their uh, for their Firefly prints that they commissioned, and they have so much uh, like. Like they did a they did a signing pretty recently, um, but yeah, you could tell that there's a lot of passion that they go that they put into these uh, to, into these roles. They're really happy with the. Yeah, everybody, all all of the uh, all of the. All of the voice actors. Yeah, like I said on Discord, my my face when voice actor can act. <laughs> So good. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Damn, I see. So that's what the IPC did for him, for them, and how they kind of like how they kind of shackled IPC, uh, how they kind of shackled Adventure into uh, their own causes for their own benefit. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you. Are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But, but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us... We will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC. Holy. Resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. Really flipped. I was a doubter too. I... Feels bad. <laughs> the
the spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? <laughs> Bye. Go on stage? Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This is White Knight. This act is This must be White Knight. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. I'm probably nearing the end here. We're back to stall. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello! I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. You can call me Clocky. Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. Hello? None of you seem surprised. We met already. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. Miss Mommy? You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Maybe we should get out now while we still can? I'm the bone of my bass, Stellaron is my body, Trails Blade is my blood. What is that? <laughs> Why is there a fate reference out out of nowhere? You're talking weird again. But it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with a danger. fucking fate reference out of nowhere. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Not us picking the same option. <laughs> Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about 
about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studios Theme Park. Oh, he about to do it. Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? The dialogue choice I saw when I was playing. Wait, when I was. Are pretty funny most of the time, yeah. Let's get going, everyone. They really got a lot of gremlin options for you. Yes. For the gremlin players. A walk among the tombstones. Yeah, this is the final. This is the final quest. Let's get a talk to everybody before we go. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Ready. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you, if my meager strength is required. Oof. Oh. A challenge? And just straight into a fight, okay. We're back here again. Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Get on stage and confront adventure. What? Do we have to do this, Aventurine? Astral Express. You're late. And this... Unsought guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> well I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Mid Deveron! Mommy, look, I'm on TV. Uh, <laughs> Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. <laughs> Of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death does not exist in dreams promise is nothing but... 
but a sham. March's reactions kill me when I pick that last night. I love to troll March at every single opportunity. Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here. In Clock Studios theme park. It's gonna be me, Aventurine. A truly grand death. Wait, how does he plan on... You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Miss Stella. You will become the personification of death. You sure you're gonna survive this? What are you on about? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panicone. Yeah, as mentioned before, he doesn't even care about the uh, death meme. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want a bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or ground to! Oh! Dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, Ready to unveil your car. She pulled out the spear by default, not the, the bat. Stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and fate's in the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death. For rebirth. Oh. Oh. Lord. All right. Let's see who has the last laugh. Let the game begin. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. kind of gems memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss i weep for the departed it too shall fall on the still waters of oblivion <laughs> prepare for some ouch whoops 
I should have, uh, I should have initiated, uh, Fushan's skill first. Before I did anything else. Good times. Time to say bye. She actually hurts. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate to say. Stand still. Break him. Break him quick. It too shall fall. <laughs> Even on a losing Youch. Oh, chill. People still have hope. They'll keep throwing money on the table. The chance. Look how small. The potential is what you hang on to. That's what justifies the gamble. <laughs> Free will, or was it fate? Oh god, Kafka's gonna die. Yeah. I forgot to put up a Fushan's ability. Kafka's gonna die. I also love the gimmick of this fight, but you're doing too much damage, so I probably won't see it this floor. Okay. Might be a little bit too strong here. Oh. I weep for the departed. Did he open up? What's this? It too shall fall. What the hell is that? Say to breathing. I wanna see the numbers. Attack him. What do you want to know? Six one five. What does that what does any of that number mean? <laughs> Six Stand still. the matches? Oh five. Have to beat his rolls in the back, okay. Otherwise the character gets a debuff. So you have to remember wait, let me slow this down. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Oh, I see. Ah! Oh! Ah, 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 Time to say bye. Was that the gimmick? Mm. It hurts. It hurts. I weep for the departed. <laughs> Dust's rain. It too shall fall. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that breeze? Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. Oh, I see. So I completely for I completely skipped the first part. Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting side reason does one truly can. What in the <laughs> Emanator? I know you'll match my wager, right? He has a domain expansion. You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Penacone. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. 
Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. <laughs> they mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. <laughs> The gate of Babylon. I wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. Ah, <gasps> right in May. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Holy. Can I run that back? <laughs> I didn't get a screenshot. If I close this game now, would I be able to run back that? I didn't get a screenshot. I want to get a screenshot of that. That was... That was sick. Let me run it back, please. Let me get the screenshot for that. I did stream it, but I want to get a screenshot. I probably have to redo the whole fight if I had to guess. Probably wouldn't be a problem. That went hard. No! What is they can make a wallpaper out of that. Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see... Have I... Have I succeeded? Aventurine got uh infinityed. What was uh what was Gojo's completely forgot Gojo's like domain expansion? Unlimited void. <laughs> Aventurine got hit with unlimited void. Welcome to the sad world, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Algin have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. Don't walk to the light, Aventurine. So, like, I wonder if you could like run cutscenes as you've already watched before. Maybe in the archives in... Back on the train? Man, I really want to watch that again. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Melody. Is it? 
Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The Nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more Nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacony. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? Ha ha ha. I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacony, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. And lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacony. Hint? Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. 
I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. He was just here to die. <laughs> Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> Of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Oh! You have to live. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? We're approaching, um... Philosophy now. My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. Oh yeah, what Rachel gave to him, right? Doctor's advice. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, he really was oomph this entire time. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Ratio. <laughs> sorry I ever doubted Aventurine. Now I so now I'm sorry I ever doubted Aventurine and uh no wait. I'm sorry I ever doubted uh, Ratio. <laughs> <sighs> then I shall get going. Nah, I'd live. Nah, I'd live. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to... leave this dreamscape? 
Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Ratio is such a weird character because between the space station and this, it's even harder to tell what he was doing. Than it was for Aventurian, yeah. He's a he's a complete enigma. I did say though that I get him though when he was uh when he was doing his whole shtick over at the space station. I was I, I get him. But I don't understand what he's I didn't understand initially what he was trying to do. Well, I still don't understand what he's trying to do here in Penacony, but at least I know that he was actually at least on Aventurian's side here. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day, but not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? To live. Preparing to face them, Kakavisha. And to make them proud. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> But you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? I have to be always ready for screenshots whenever it's like a cutscene plays out. <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your blood, blood eternally pulsing. May, May your journey be forever, forever peaceful. peaceful. And your, your schemes. schemes Forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmer. Ah, he did the Haiti. He did the wave. Farewell, Kakava Chef. He did the what's his name wave. The Yamatsalk wave. Would hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, a descendant of the slumber of tonight. Until the denouement, denouement of all coming morrows kisses me, I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. In every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows no quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests one after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die, has at last landed on its, on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome he kept his promise and got what he wanted <laughs> as planned your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory then let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting thereafter in the cradle of slumberers deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities Another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. 
Come the toil of spring and yield a fall, I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Meanwhile in the memory zone depths. You try to open your eyes but find only blackness before you. And whose POV is this? <laughs> That's hilarious. Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventurine un unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness. Until a fire engulfs you in its brace. Oh! It's flower fly time. Yes, I am me. You're awake. Oh! Oh! I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Just what's happening here? A crevice between dreams. You've met me before. I'm Sam. A Stellarom hunter. I flam flubbed so hard he said Flyerfly? I didn't even notice. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script ha 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 oh okay elio is right in this land of the dreams you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. All that I am. It's okay, we still love you. No! <laughs> Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. So here's this question. Here's my question. You think Firefly and Sam will be separate units, or do you think it'll be just F Firefly and Sam and the ult? They're gonna be the same unit. Um, Firefly is just gonna be base, and then when she gets into, I'm assuming it's gonna be kind of like how. Um... I'm thinking of who's a good. Maybe Jing Liu? Maybe she functions like Jing Liu. Like she, uh, I think Firefly will be her base form and then when she gets into a specific form after some condition, she'll turn into, she'll turn into Sam. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties... will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once 
thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic! You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the Who is that edge, bird? I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Part of me wonders if it's just death just because of the eye on its chest. Yeah, I thought that, like, on its head. It could be death that's just chilling. Why, though? Why would a meme need to do that? But I'm guessing that's just that somebody else is in control of the meme. Isn't that right, my brother? What? Brother is in in the family? Like, uh... <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Oh, sparkle. Disguise? Or? No? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes. Take a good look. <sighs> Indeed. Every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes. I knew it. Which make me miss the That list of so suspects was a descriptor for Gallagher. Scar. The mark of Woolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, People are blind to the grit in their eyes, yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Oh! Okay. When's 
What the hell is this? That's why you assume death has something to do with the bird? I've already, like, thought... I haven't mentioned it before, but like in the previous stream, I was like, hmm, I've noticed the bird and then it has, I've noticed that it has the same mark as the meme as well. So I was like, maybe it is tied to the meme somehow, but I didn't assume that is, it might have been actually been the meme itself. Oh, it's Misha. Being chillin'. Wait, where are we? Oh, there's actually people in here now. Alright, alright. Wait. There's one place that I want to check out before I call it for this session. It's probably changed after that encounter with that. Also, another thing I noticed is that Sunday's Halo also has the eye shapes on it, which threw me off when I paid attention to it. I pe paid attention to it. If it's an eye mode safe, then it's probably just. Oh yeah, because it was already mentioned before. It's just like multiple factions working against each other within the family, right? So it's just probably the inter-fighting. It's probably just a uh, family inter-fighting. Anyways, yeah, that's a pretty nice observation. Like, uh, the memory zone is prob- the memory zone death is probably some... the corrupt version of Harmony? Is what I'm thinking? I swear I've seen that concept somewhere before. Anyways, let's see if this changed. The dialogue here changes. This is not an easy place to find. The person who introduced it to you truly values her friendship by sharing this view. You think back to the times you spent with her, all those cherished memories, but the one you'll never forget was the complex whirl of emotions when she first revealed her true identity to you. Was her past identity all just a ruse? Were those tears when she got stabbed all just an act? Is that being the th that thing which fought, which you fought while being covered in heated heated flames, who she really is? Doubt and confusion leave you discombobulated. After all, the line between what's real and what's false in the streamscape is far more blurred than it seems. Gazing up at those tall towers before you, you lose yourself deep in contemplation. Sag. It's okay, we got our girl back. That's all we ever needed to see. Next patch better start with uh with Stell going like, Oh, I'm just happy to see you're alive. Like not even mad at Firefly at all. But judging from this though, there might be a little bit of like um Judging from the new lines in this location is probably some sort of like confusion on Stell's part. Anyway, such a good patch. So many lines for Aventurine. 
Like half of like more than I'm, I feel like more than half of the lines that was said for the entire patch was all adventuring. <sighs> It'd be so weird if Stella or Kalis are upset by it, just because most of the community communities like universal universally said they're just happy to be alive. Yeah. Adventuring shot up high onto my list of, of favorites. Thanks to this story. Yeah, he's super fleshed out. It really helps that he has like a million lines. For this patch. Really helps, I guess. I can see he comes off kind of like rude at the start of Pentacone, but now that I get him. I like him. But uh, also, yeah, kind of nice that uh, Acheron, despite being the emanator of Naility, was the one that like convinced, convinced him to live. Despite everything. Him and Topaz know how to get shit done. Not much else can be said. Yeah. I'm a Topaz stan. Not a lot of people like Topaz too. After what she's pulled off in Bullabog. Like not 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 many people can. Uh... Like I could at least say that I understand their characters. Being what they are. And being able to understand and understand them is why I do like them. Like, they're just, they're just, their whole lives has just, like, been not even their own. Their whole lives aren't even their own. It's the IPC, so they're just, like, yeah, I can't understand continue, continuing to hate her after her story. You can hate her job in the IPC, sure, but I don't get the character hate, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, she's a... Like, she's only able to do what the IPC wants her to do because what the IPC has done for her. And that's kind of like shackled her to her role. Same thing for adventuring, but it was a lot more tragic when it came to adventuring because, you know, it like... They sent off all of these people to fend off that rebellion against the Catechas. Catechans. But then, it was supposed to help him. But no, none of his family made it out alive. His big sister wasn't able to make it alive. So like, all this work that he's been doing for the IPC is kind of like all for nothing. <sighs> for him, he fell into debt with the IPC. <sighs> so maybe he's just eventually... Which makes him kind of like, a pretty cool parallel to Topaz. Topaz. Topaz feels indebted to the IPC mainly because the IPC was able to actually help her when it came to the when it came to saving her, when it came to saving her world. But for adventuring, he's just fallen into debt with the IPC that means nothing to him because none of his loved ones managed to stay alive from the rebellion. As far as he knows, he's the last person, he's the last Avgen that he knows is alive. So like, he's doing all this work for the IPC pretty much for nothing. And you can really see his disdain against like the IPC. He, the reason why he wants the world to like, fall into destruction. Like he would have probably been pa probably been on the path of destruction if like things played out differently. I'm so happy that the IPC characters we have as party members actually have a lot of depth, depth, and the fact that we don't have to wait two years to get to know it. Yeah, I is that a struggle when it comes to like Genshin story? Oh, I see. Where where Genshin made us wait to. Made us wait ages to give almost any character a form of death. Most of them are still two dimensional. I see. So that's mostly a complaint against like how Genshin. Yeah, you can really tell when it comes to like Honkai Star Rail. Well, for most of the story with the Pentacony so far and like the IPC characters, there's a lot of depth when it comes to them. So yeah, I'm like, I'm. They have, they, you could really tell that they have completely different writers.
And especially so, because this title has like the namesake of their most beloved like franchise, right? Honkai. <sighs> I'm glad I've always been a bigger Honkai fan because there's so much love put into the into it in comparison. Oh man, I would have loved to see you on like the, my previous stream because um um between Walt and Acheron talking about like stuff that happened in Honkai Impact the Third, which I have no context, uh, I have no knowing what happened uh, or well, I have no idea what happened because I've never I've only ever played like the intro section of Honkai Impact the Third. It was like that whole exchange between Acheron and Welp at the beginning of uh, 2.1 where they were sharing things that happened back in their original world when they still lived, I guess, as Raiden, May, and Welp as... Well, Welp. When they were talking about something, something, Adam. Whoops. Anyways, yeah, that was probably something that was huge for like... Uh, Original Honkai Impact the Third fans. Still though, still though, even though I had no idea what they were talking about, you could see, you could really tell that it was from. They were a reference. They were talking about Honkai Impact the Third. <sighs> what time is it? Oh my god, it's 7.30 already? I'm so hungry. I was surprised that he went to talk about that because I was I was expecting him to talk about Otto, but he instead talked about Kevin. Maybe he, he maybe they decided to talk about Kevin because Otto or Void Archives is still out there in this game. So maybe we'll get that chance instead. That said, he it is it was weird to me that he said Sun Chasers instead of Flame Chasers because which is what threw me off. I see. Oh, so it was the Flame Chasers arc then? Maybe Sun they they said Sun Ch he said Sun Chasers instead of Flame Chasers, kind of like to make more of a easily understood metaphor. <sighs> With what him trying to like compare what I assume what Kevin has done is comparable to what Icarus, the angel, the mythology has done. So uh, it's, they probably said Sun Chaser so that it's it'll be more easily understood instead of like Flame Chaser to the lay to the layman who has probably not have had experience with a uh, Honkai Impact the Third. But personally, that was like my interpretation of that exchange, and I really like that he. That he chose that instead of like uh, going into what happened in the Flame Chaser uh, event that happened in Honkai. Would not be surprised, especially since the Honkai Star Rail localization team probably doesn't know the terms from Honkai Impact 3. Yeah, or yeah. I'm, I'm just assuming that they, that they just decided to use some kind of like a more easily understood <laughs> metaphor. Or not metaphor. <laughs> It's the word. Uh, something that could easily more describe the events that happened in Honkai Impact Three. But you know, it's it's all conjecture. Maybe it's maybe it's just to like get people interested at least to jump into Honkai Impact Three. Probably so much story that you have to like comb through. What with how many years has Honkai been out, and uh, they've only recently started the second part, or well. With a new cast, right? In Honkai Impact, uh... What's her name? What's their name? Anyway, I think I might take off for dinner now. Um... I'm so hungry. Me hungry. So, uh, very much super, super appreciate it. That, uh, you went... Oh, you haven't started it yet, though? They have a really cute cast, yeah. We're super appreciate for a uh, super appreciate you for the company. Always appreciate it, and it is good to see you. Always good to see you. Hope you have a hope you have a good night. Hope to see you again later. <sighs> and yeah, thank you. <sighs> see you later. GGS.